The Kopac Kirit, located on the Danube in eastern Croatia, is a vast wetland sanctuary for Europe's largest wild animals and thousands of birds. It's also where Goran Safarek, a biologist and nature photographer, feels most at home. People think that the sea is the most beautiful feature of Croatia. Yes, it's what made the country known worldwide, but it has other riches and not many people know about that. This region of water and forests is protected from all human activity. For centuries, this floodplain of the Danube served as hunting grounds for the Austro-Hungarian nobility. You don't necessarily have to travel to the ends of the earth to get a close look at large wild animals. This huge natural marshland has always been one of Europe's richest wildlife refuges. Located in Slavonia, in the eastern part of Croatia, the Kopačkirit is one of the largest wetlands of the Balkans. Goran Safarek is about to rendezvous with the unknown. He has come here to observe nature and live in harmony with the creatures of Kopačkirit. He even seems part of the fauna himself. I'm in very close touch with nature. It stirs very strong feelings in me, particularly when I'm alone in such a wild setting. It's a marvelous feeling. My mind is alert, alert to the sounds, the odors, the water lapping, the mud. When all my senses are alive like this, it makes me want to discover new things. Goran loves the Kopačkirit and is an ardent defender of this biotope. He studied biology and is a nature photographer as well. The park abounds with life. At any moment, eagles could sweep right by you. There are all sorts of birds. There are deer. It's an explosion of life in all its splendor. I love being here. I'm a hunter, but I hunt images. To get a good shot, you have to get close, and that's not easy. One method is hiding out. You have to be familiar with the animal's behavior. Deer have very good hearing and a keen sense of smell. Boars as well. They're always snuffing everything around them, so each animal has its own approach to its environment. You have to work alone when you're shooting. Be attentive, patient and quiet. I like to go off on my own. It's good anti-stress therapy. I love lying out in the wild, waiting for the animals. When I'm stalking, I'm alone with my thoughts. I just love that. Today, Gorn is going out with his friend Tibor, an ornithologist. They're going to do a count of a colony of wading birds, gray herons and night herons. They're over there. 
If we make a move, they'll fly off and leave their nests. And how long before they come back? If we move off, they'll come right back because they're brooding. What do we do? Try to get closer? Yeah, we'll get closer, but be really careful. Right now we're in the middle of the spring migration. The birds come here from Africa and the Mediterranean to nest and brood. And right now the season's first colonies are settling in. Some are already brooding. Others are building their nests. It's one of the two best periods of the year for observing them. This is one of the entries to the Kopachki Rit. On the right side you have the Danube. Serbia is on the other side, and straight ahead is the nature park. No one ever comes here. It's really wild. I use the same trails that the animals use. I'm nervous every time I come to the Kopachki Rit. It's magic. This is the realm of the animals. I always have to be ready with my camera. All sorts of surprises can pop up. It's quite something because at any instant you could find yourself face to face with a deer or a boar. You have to be on your toes. Kopachkirit, scientists have recorded nearly 300 species of birds. The wetlands is an inexhaustible source of images for Goran, the photographer. Thanks to photography, Goran has gotten to know the naturalists, hunters, and fishermen of the Danube. He knows all the park rangers. He also runs into poachers sometimes. Over the years, he has become a go-between for the people of the wetland who would seem to have nothing in common. The rangers know all the nooks and crannies of the forest, and they're glad to share their little secrets with Goran. People often have a romantic image of nature, but it can get very cold and very hot out here. There are swarms of mosquitoes, they get into your eyes and mouth, but the pleasure of photography outweighs all that. I can hear geese in the distance. It's their bedtime. There are other birds over there. You have to know how to identify the sounds of nature. I know that these are geese on this side and herons over there. Right away, I know what's going on around me. 
Humans can't see at night, but we can hear nature and smell the aromas. You just have to be alert. You just have to listen. Hey there, Dalibor. Everything ready? Yeah, we're all set. Hop on. You'll see. You're going to really feel the wind, like on a motorcycle. Kopachki Rit is vast, 17,000 hectares. It's hard to grasp the extent when you're down on the ground. You have to fly over it to get the bird's eye view. From the air, you can see just how many waterways and reed groves there are in the forest. Every spring, when the snow melts in the eastern Alps, the Danube rises and floods the park. This year, the spring thaw is late, but in a few weeks, the plains of Kopachkirit will give birth to an abundance of wildlife. I always loved nature films. In high school, I really enjoyed the sciences. Later, I majored in biology at the university, and that's where it all started. I've been lucky enough to travel all over the world. Africa, South America, Asia. Then I realized that Croatia itself has a wealth of beauty and riches. And that's how I got started here. Goran has become one of Croatia's foremost image hunters. His work has been published in scientific travel and hunting reviews. Last year, he was honored as one of the top 100 personalities making for a better Croatia. Goran lives according to the changing of the seasons. Nature imposes its own rhythm on his life. The photographer never misses a chance to make an early morning face-to-face -face with this wild world. For me, it's an art. Getting as close as possible to nature and just blending in with it. As a biologist, I've always preferred this world. I see myself as a predator, as a sort of lone wolf, because to get a decent shot, you have to be as quiet and as invisible as possible. It's better when you're alone. I'm a lone wolf out stalking images. Animal photography is extremely demanding and can be very frustrating as well. But when the encounter does take place, it's a magnificent moment. There are some people whose dream is meeting a star. For me, running into a boar, a deer, or any animal at a distance of 10 meters is just unbelievable. There's nothing that can beat it. Flooded by the waters of the Danube, the Kopachkirit is a UNESCO biosphere reserve. Goran has a front row seat on these vast territories. 
and thanks to photography, he can share its most beautiful aspects. One needs to know how to melt into this exceptional environment to capture the life of this untamed land. 